I, Soma Hosoda, am an ordinary high school sophomore. The only difference between me and other high school students is that I'm a black belt in karate. I didn't hide the fact that I was a black belt when I was in junior high school, but I got tangled up with punks who tried to test me, so I decided to hide it after that. I still go to the dojo, but I'm slender, so no one knows I do karate except for people who went to the same junior high school as me. <sighs> I gotta help the kids class today. Even though I like doing it, I want to take a day off once in a while. Well, my dad would get mad at me if I took a day off, so I'll go as soon as I can. It's closer if I go through this back alley. But then I remembered the saying, The longest way is the quickest way. Huh? Is that... The captain of the third year soccer team and the captain of the karate team? Ritsuki Hamaguchi. She's the captain of the karate club and the chairman of the public morals committee. She's very strict with her students, but her good looks and straightforward personality make her popular with everyone. What are they doing here? I have a bad feeling about this. I should turn back even though it'll take longer. Hamaguchi, I like you. Go out with me. Whoa. So it was a confession. I feel bad eavesdropping on this. I should go back now. Sorry, I can't. He got rejected in an instant. Sorry, soccer guy. I didn't mean to hear it, but the reply was so quick, I couldn't help it. I see. I'll ask you out again so you can say yes when you feel like it. This guy has a strong mentality. He got rejected in an instant, but it didn't faze him at all. I thought I said it clearly, but I guess I should say it again. I refuse, and I have no intentions with going out with you in the future either. <laughs> you don't have to be so shy. Uh, you don't get it, do you? If you follow me around again... Oh no, I didn't want to get involved in other people's business, but that's not a manly thing to do. What's up with you? I'm just a guy who is just trying to get down the street. You're not a third year, are you? Don't get in the way of your seniors. I don't want to either. Then stay out of it. Hey, senpai. You're quite strong. What do you want? Senpai, look at Hamaguchi-san. If you persist any longer, You'll get eaten alive. Besides, you're good looking. Why don't you go for a different girl? Well, yeah, but there's nobody prettier than her at this school. That may be true, but think about it. If you keep persisting, Hamaguchi-san's gonna beat you up, and that rumor might spread, making you unattractive to other girls. You may be right. Fine! I'll give up on Hamaguchi! I'm sure there's a more deserving girl waiting for me. Well then, excuse me! That was easy. What's up with that senpai? Well, at least he didn't make a fuss. He was an odd one, wasn't he? Alright, I'm going home now. Wait a minute. Why did you protect me? I didn't need to be protected, and you don't even have a right to protect me. Do you not know who I am? No, I know you. You're Hamaguchi-san, the head of the karate club. Well, you've got some nerve knowing that. You didn't think I could fight him off? No, I stopped him because he was about to get beat up if I kept quiet. No, but it would have been a problem if something happened. Ha! <laughs> you have a lot of guts, don't you? Come to the dojo. I'll show you what I can do. Dang, I didn't want this to happen. Hamaguchi-san, I'm sorry. But I have some other things I have to attend to. It's fine. Just come. I let Hamaguchi-san's momentum get the better of me, and followed her to the school's dojo. Do you know the rules of karate? Yes, I do. I... I see. Well, there's a lot of different styles, but this time we're gonna go with Sundome so you don't get hurt. Yes, I understand. I'm glad we're playing the Sundome rule. I don't want to hurt a girl, even by mistake. Can I make a quick phone call first? A phone call? I don't mind, but... To whom? My parents. I was supposed to be home early. Oh, sorry about that. Call them if they're waiting. Yes, thank you. The kids' class hasn't started yet. Hopefully he picks up. Dad, sorry. I'm going to be a little late for practice today. That's unusual. You got a girlfriend or something? No, it's not like that. 
It's more like the opposite. The opposite? A boyfriend? Come on, that's not what I meant. I'm in a little trouble, so I'm gonna be late. Alright, just don't hurt anyone. Yeah, I know. Hamaguchi-san, sorry to keep you waiting. I'm ready. Alright, let's get started. Yes. <sighs> oh, that's a good one. As expected of the karate captain. You're sharper than the kids from my class I look after. But you're no match for me at this level! <laughs> Ooh, that was close. But if it was a real match, I'd have countered it and that would have been the end of it. Are we done, Hamaguchi-san? What are you talking about? You're not losing, but I haven't surrendered either. I understand. Then I'll try not to hit you, but please be careful. What are you saying? Yeah, that's it! <laughs> no way! Uh, I lost! Thank you very much. If that's all, please excuse me. Wha wait a second! Can I help you? No, it's not that I need something, but I've been convinced. Convinced? Yeah. The reason why you saved me from that guy earlier. You were very strong. I'm sure I looked weak to you. That's not true. You tried to give the soccer player from the soccer team an iron fist earlier, didn't you, Hamaguchi-san? I can tell you're strong just by looking at you, but you need to have more restraint the stronger you are. That's why I got in between you. I didn't want to see you or the guy from the soccer team get hurt, Hamaguchi-san. I see. As a martial artist, your mind, technique, and strength are all completely above mine. Thanks for stopping me. No problem. Come to think of it, I never asked for your name. I'm Soma Hosoda. Oh, time is really running out, so if you'll excuse me... Yeah, I'm sorry for keeping you. Hosoda, huh? Looks like I finally found my destiny. My dad was pretty angry at me for being late for the kids' class after all. The next day... Yesterday, I got into trouble with Hamaguchi-san, and my father got angry with me. But yesterday was just an anomaly, and today's just as normal and peaceful as usual. Let me ask, is Soma Hosoda there? My ordinary day was instantly destroyed by the energetic Hamaguchi-san. Hey, why is Hamaguchi-san in the second grade classroom? And she was calling out for Hosoda! Hamaguchi-san, what are you doing? Oh, Hosoda, you're in this class. Hamaguchi-san, this is class 3. You didn't go around in order, did you? I went around starting from class 10. I knew you were a sophomore, but I didn't know which class. You went around 8 classes?! At least start with class 1! Uh, my fault. <sighs> I'm sure all the sophomores are talking about it now. So what can I help you with? Well... Oh, it's about the karate club uniform I borrowed the other day, isn't it? I washed it and brought it with me. Oh, thanks. What? I thought this was what you came for. Not at all. I forgot about those, if anything. Really? Yeah, so I came here because... I made some lunch. Would you like to join me? What? Lunch? Yeah, I made it for you. If you don't want it, you can refuse. No, no, I'd love to eat it if you made it for me, but... No way! The chairman of the public morals committee is falling for Hosoda? Senpai, let's go to the rooftop. Huh? Oh, I... I don't really care where, but... Ah, <sighs> it's not so crowded here. I was fine with eating in your classroom. You should be more considerate about your popularity. It's too painful to eat lunch with all those stairs. I'm the chairman of the public morals committee, and I'm hard on a lot of guys. I don't think I'm popular. That's not true. You're popular because you're straightforward and pretty. She apologizes when she's in the wrong. She's actually a good person. Oh, I see. I can only offer you this lunch, even if you give me compliments. <laughs> More importantly, why did you make lunch for me? I wanted to have lunch with you. 
What other reason do I need? No, that's enough. She's so straightforward, it makes me embarrassed. It looks really delicious. Yeah, eat up. Mmm, these spring rolls are amazing. That's good. I don't mean to be rude, but I didn't know you could cook like this. I'm actually a pretty good cook. You can cook, exercise, and study? Is there anything you can't do? Uh, beat you? Oh, me? Yeah, you're the only person who beat me that perfectly. That was just a practice match. I don't know how I do in a real one. Stop being modest. You're Master Hosoda's son. I'm no match for you. Oh, you noticed. Yeah, it hit me when I heard your last name. I guess people who practice karate around here would recognize me after all. Yeah, Master Hosoda is a celebrity. You're not joining the karate club? No, it's a different school. And I don't really want to stand out. Oh, I see. You're right. With that kind of strength, you're going to stand out even if you don't want to. I'm glad I caught on to you before you started standing out. What do you mean? Let's be clear. I'm the type of person who likes a man strong enough to beat me. In both strength and spirit, you're stronger than me. I fell in love with that strength at first sight. What? What? You didn't notice? No, I didn't even give it a second thought. I wouldn't make lunch for a guy I didn't like. You're embarrassed by your own words. You're so cute, it's unfair. Well, I'm in no hurry for an answer. You can wait until I've got your stomach in my hands with my cooking. I think it's better if you don't say those things yourself. You've already grasped my stomach, but I'll keep my mouth shut. Is that how it is? <sighs> Love is difficult. Then Hamaguchi-san's furious appeal began. I made your lunch again today. Thank you. Yesterday you said you liked fried chicken, so I made fried chicken today. I'm jealous! They're like newlyweds. I'm jealous! Blow up! I'm sure Hamaguchi-san's fans would pick a fight with me even if they did know I do karate. Hamaguchi-san's appeal, or rather her outburst, extended not only to the school, but also to the house. Soma, who is this girl? Nice to meet you, Master Hosoda. My name is Ritsuki Hamaguchi, and I'm the captain of the karate club at the same school as Hosoda-kun. Oh, I heard the girls' karate club at that school is pretty strong. Yes, although individually, I've been to the national championships. That's quite a feat. I didn't know you were that great, Hamaguchi-san! Hey, how come you didn't know? But the other day, Hosoda completely defeated me, both physically and mentally, and I was deeply moved. What did you do to this girl? It's a misunderstanding. We we just had a light match for various reasons. Um, remember when I came home late last week? Oh, the other day when you were late to help out the kids' class. Oh, my apologies. It seems Hosoda-kun was late because of me. Oh, that's fine. It's that guy's fault for taking it on. Well, you're right. That was my fault, so don't worry about it. More importantly, you said you wanted to see my father today, so I brought you home. What do you want? Here's the main topic. We're from different schools, but I wonder if you'll allow me to be in a relationship with Hosoda-kun? What? What are you talking about all of a sudden? I don't think it matters what school you belong to when it comes to dating. Oh, looks like my father is confused too. If I were to go out with him, I would want to go out with him on the premise of marriage. I was wondering if it would be okay for Hosoda-kun's wife, who might succeed Master Hosoda, to be from a different school. Oh, Soma. You've brought a rather interesting girl with you. It can be complicated when someone suddenly moves here from another school but it's quite common for people from different schools to marry each other. Even if this guy succeeds me, there's no problem if his wife is from another school. I'll support you guys. Th thank you very much. But wait until you're both out of high school before you get married. Yes, understood. Wait, we're not even dating yet! 
This was a heavy way to approach things, but it was also very typical of Hamaguchi-san. In the end, Hamaguchi-san hit it off with my dad, and we had dinner together. Well then, come again. Yes, thank you. Soma, take her to the station. Yeah, I know. And make it happen. Be quiet! My dad's so perceptive when it comes to things like this. Sorry about today. I may have gotten a little out of line. No, I think it's fine. It's very Hamaguchi-san-like. That's not a compliment, is it? No, it was. Oh, by the way, what did Master Hosoda mean when he said to make it happen? Oh, that's right. I think my dad kind of figured it out because it was the first time I brought a girl to the house. Huh? What do you mean? Well, Hamaguchi-san, I love your straightforwardness and how you go all the way in everything you do. Please, go out with me. Huh? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Hamaguchi-san and I are both strong in arms, but we also have our flaws. Because of this, we can complement each other and grow together. Give it back! It happened one day in my second year of high school. I'm Tomoya Kuronagi, and my notebook, which was the most important thing to me, got taken by a classmate named Kuzutani. If it's so important, try to get it back! Look, here it is! Damn it! That's enough! <laughs> come on, come on! You son of a- Give it back! Then try to get it back! Here! What? <laughs> Ouch! Oh no, not my business! <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Are you okay? My hands and feet. It hurts. Oh no, is it broken? Somebody, get the teacher! I called for help from the students around me, and the teachers came right away, and the girl I ran into was rushed to the hospital. Broken left hand and right leg? From what I heard, it must have been all that weight of you falling on top of her. Well, considering how you fell down the stairs, I guess she's lucky it was only a broken bone. In the meantime, she'll have to stay in the hospital. I see. I'm sorry, Shirasagi-san. It's all my fault. The girl I bumped into was Haruka Shirasagi, a well-known classmate at school. She always hides her right eye with her bangs because she's blind in her right eye. No, don't worry about it. If I'd landed better, none of this would have happened. But... And I saw you were trying to get something back from Kuzutani-kun, right? That's true, but... I'll testify for you to the teachers, so don't worry about it, okay? Why is she so kind and strong? A normal person would be furious if I injured them like this, but she's not angry at all, and worrying about me. You can complain more, you know. It doesn't change the fact that I hurt you. I told you I won't get mad. It was just an accident. More importantly, what was so important that you were trying to get back? Oh yeah. This used to belong to my father. He died when I was little. I carry it around with me as a good luck charm. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. No. It happened when I was little. So don't worry about it. So you live with your mom now? Well, something like that. I see. Haruka! Are you alright? Please don't yell in the hospital! D dad What? Dad? Are you alright, Haruka? Y yeah I'm fine. I got a call saying you fell down the stairs, so I threw down my work and rushed over! I'm okay, so please go back to work, Dad. Um, I apologize for causing your daughter's injury. So it's you, huh? The one who hurt my sweet, sweet Haruka? Uh, I'm sorry. D dad stop it! This girl you injured is the future heir to our company! Do you understand that? The girl you injured is a treasure of Japan! Dad, go home already! W what's wrong, Haruka? I'm trying to tell him something important. It's not important at all. And Kironaki-kun didn't do anything wrong. Why are you defending him? Huh? Don't tell me you two are going out. Get out of here. Shirasagi-san had completely lost her temper, and her dad reluctantly left the room. Ugh, my head hurts. Are you okay? He was quite the dad. As you know, I'm blind in my right eye. He's overprotective because of it. Well... I think he's a good dad for taking care of his daughter. Who are you calling dad? I haven't approved of you as my son! I thought you went home! How can I leave when there's a boy in here? I don't want a dad like this. <laughs> I'm still worried. When are you going home, you son of a gun? 
first of all, don't call him that! His name is Kuronagi-kun! I'm sorry, Kuronagi-kun. No, it's true that I ended up hurting her. Well, it's admirable of you to admit your fault so frankly. By the way, I'd like to ask you a question. How much do I have to pay you to get out of my daughter's life? I told you to stop! That's not the kind of relationship I have with Kuronagi-kun! Ugh, you two are having a kind of relationship you need to hide from your father?! I told you, it's not like that! Alright, what are you trying to excite the patient for? Please leave the room. W what do you think you're doing?! I've known the hospital director for a long time, you know, doing this to me! The director here has given me an order, so please leave. What?! I'm sorry for all of that. No, it's okay. By the way, are you really wealthy by any chance? Um, have you ever heard of the Shirasagi conglomerate? Yes, it's one of the biggest conglomerates in Japan. Why are you in a regular school like this? When I went to a young lady's school, everyone was concerned about my right eye. So I decided to go to a local school and hide the fact that I'm rich. Come to think of it, the Shirasagi conglomerate is in Tokyo, right? Wait, are you commuting from Tokyo? No, I live alone now. How did that dad let you live alone? It took a lot of wrangling, but in the end I was able to stick it out and win. I wanted to get away from his overprotectiveness, so I didn't give in. I see. She's so kind, but also strong. But after something like this, I'll probably be taken back home after I get out of the hospital. Oh, she worked hard to get the approval to live alone. But she'll be taken back to her parents' house due to an unfortunate accident that would be nothing less than unreasonable from her point of view. I'll take care of you until you get better, Shirasagi-san! What?! Are you being serious? Yeah, the injury is my fault. So let me take full responsibility. I told you not to worry about it. But if we don't do anything, you'll have to go back to your parents' house, right? Probably. Then let me take responsibility. Then you won't have to go home, right? Yeah, but... Uh, okay, I'll take your word then. I'm gonna tell my dad that a good friend is going to take care of me. So act like you don't know, even if he asks. Oh, uh, okay. I guess it's easy to misinterpret the situation. Speaking of which... You're so earnest. Eh? Is that so? Yeah, a broken bone is certainly a big injury. But even so, there aren't many people who would try to take this much responsibility. Kuzutani said, not my business, and ran away. You heard that? Yeah, for some reason I heard it loud and clear in my ears. <laughs> I'll have to thank him next time. Wait, could this girl be scary? I had a chat with her and left the hospital room with such a question in my mind. After that, I decided to learn housework from my mother, so that I could take care of Shirasagi-san when she got out of the hospital. They're all different sizes, which means it won't cook in the same amount of time. It's not that bad! If you're going to feed a girl, you want perfection. It won't look good either! Although she was quite strict. Good thing you're able to take classes remotely. Yeah, my dad talked to the school saying he'll pay for the equipment. He's a really good dad. Yeah, well, if only he wasn't so overprotective. <laughs> Apparently, her dad shows up at the hospital every day despite his busy work schedule. I guess that's how much he cares about Shirasagi-san. I heard that he usually comes at a certain time, so I try to leave before that. Oh yeah, here, it's today's homework. Thanks! Since you're hospitalized, they shouldn't give you homework at the very least. You're left-handed, right? I can write with my right hand if I try. Besides, I'm asking you to do this for me, too. Oh, sorry for making you bring it to me. If you don't want to, you can always tell me, okay? No, no, it's okay. I come to visit you anyway. Right. Thanks. You don't have to thank me. Besides, lately I've been having the most fun talking with Shirasagi-san. Speaking of which, do you know anything about Kuzutani suddenly changing schools? Oh, really? Good thing there's no one mean anymore. Look at that smile. This girl probably has something to do with it, I thought, from the way Shirasagi-san was looking at me, but I didn't ask her any further. After that, we had a casual conversation, and I went home. I kept visiting Shirasagi-san every day. I'm glad that Shirasagi-san always smiles happily at me, even when we don't have much to say to each other. We were in different classes, so we hardly ever talked, but I found her to be a very cute girl. And then came the day of the discharge. I'm glad you're able to get out of the hospital safely. Yeah. It's thanks to you who came to visit me every day. Well, I don't think that has anything to do with it. <laughs> Let's go back to my house then. I have to admit, I was surprised. I thought for sure your dad would come on the day of your discharge. Because he was overreacting and said, let's have a discharge party? So I told him no. 
Well, I told my grandpa who's the chairman of the board to put in a business trip so he couldn't come. Oh, there's someone above your dad? He's practically a retiree now, but he's still in a position where he has his say. So sometimes I ask him to do things for me. He's the only person my dad can't raise his head above. Uh... Hmm? Um, I actually told my grandpa about you. What? Really? Even if I'm having you take care of me, you have to go home at night. And I'm a girl, so there are some things I can't leave to boys. That's why I had him send a maid. Ah, uh, I see. I was worried about being watched by her grandpa, but we enjoyed chatting afterwards. And when the cab arrived at Shirasagi-san's apartment, a maid named Himuragi-san helped me put her in a wheelchair. Please be careful, because you will have to take responsibility if you touch her in a strange place. And I was met with a light threat. I was surprised as soon as I entered the apartment. It really is an incredible apartment. My dad is a bit anxious. He said the security system has to be perfect. But that makes sense, since Shirasagi-san is cute. C cute Huh? Oh, I made a mistake. I was going to say girl. <laughs> you are surprisingly forward. No, I, I just misspoke. What? But you wouldn't say that if you didn't think she was cute, right? Uh, no, I mean... It's important to be honest. That's why I'm telling you! Hi, Himaragi-san. You don't have to do that. Please get ready for me to change. Yes, miss. All right. Please leave the room, Kiranagi-san. Or would you like to change her clothes, Kiranagi-san? What? Himaragi-san, I'm going to get angry. My lady, you're already angry. That's because you're messing around. Yes, yes. I'm sorry. This person has a great attitude towards Shirasagi-san, who's supposed to be the master of the house. Please wait in the living room for a while. Yes. S sorry to keep you waiting. While I was waiting in the living room, I heard Shirasagi-san's voice, so I turned my gaze in that direction. What a cute outfit! Um, I hope it's not too uncomfortable. Oh, no. No, it's okay. I, I see. If you feel hot or anything, just let me know, okay? Yeah. I'm getting hot from the heat emitted from you two. <laughs> Himaragi-san, please stop it! <laughs> so, Kiranagi-san, I've heard from the young lady's grandfather that you are to take care of the cooking and laundry. Is that all right? Yes, that's okay. No, that's not okay! Please do the laundry, Himaragi-san. Are you sure it doesn't have to be Kiranagi-san? You know what you're asking, don't you, Himaragi-san? Of course. I don't like this person! I'm telling Grandpa for a change! Shirasagi had regressed into a toddler because she was being toyed with too much. While looking at Shirasagi-san with the corner of my eye, I was taken to the kitchen. Then I had to cook as a test. There were already a lot of ingredients in the fridge, and she said I could use them as I pleased. Meanwhile... Thank you, Kiranagi-san. Huh? Ever since you started visiting the young lady at the hospital, she has become very cheerful. That's also the reason why the master entrusted you as a caretaker. Wasn't Shirasagi-san always cheerful? As far as I know, she was forcing herself to laugh. She was so concerned about being different than the others that she retreated into her shell at a very young age. When she got to high school, I kept coming back to check on her, but there was no change. It was not until the young lady was hospitalized that I saw the change, and when I looked for the reason, I could think of nothing other than your presence. I've never seen her in the hospital room before. I guess it was just the timing. I feel like that's not the reason, since I really didn't do much. The young lady told the master that you were a solid, responsible, and trustworthy man. Really? Yes. That's how much the young lady bought you. I hope that you will continue to be your good friend and... Haruka! Your father is here! Ah! What are you doing here? Oh, Himeragi! I finished work quickly and flew in with a private jet. We have to celebrate her discharge with a big party. Speaking of which, where's my dear Haruka? Hmm? What are you doing here? Oh, uh... Get out! I will not allow a boy in Haruka's house! I'm sorry, but we have the master's permission regarding Kyoranagi-san. He gave permission? Without even consulting me? Please come this way so we can talk about this matter with your daughter. Then we explained why I was at Shirasagi-san's house. In other words, you decided to take care of Haruka to make amends for injuring her? Yes. The master has also given his permission. So, I would also like to ask for your approval. How can I? Dad! D don't be silly! I'll make it impossible for you or your family to come near her ever again! If you do that, I'll never speak to you again! Uh, but... But Haruka, having a boy with you here is a little too much. 
I'm here to make sure those two aren't left alone. I won't let him make any mistake. Uh, but still... I will explain in detail later why the Master approved. I can tell you right now that the Master approves of Hironagi-san, so it would be against his will to kick him out, would it not? Uh, th then I have one condition. A condition? That the two of you become lovers. If you can accept that condition, I'll accept it. Haruka won't accept this condition even if he does. She's the one who's been putting up walls against others. Okay. Huh? I, I'm fine if it's Kironagi-kun. He's honest and responsible. And above all, he's kind. What? Shirasagi-san? <laughs> Even if you say that, there's no way this guy's ready for that kind of commitment. No, I'm fine too. Shirasagi-san is a kind yet strong person. And more importantly, I think she's very pretty. What? Kironagi-kun. Do you really understand? Becoming Haruka's lover means that you will be responsible for the Shirasagi conglomerate in the future. There's no way you can handle it. I I'll support him, so don't worry. Shirasagi-san, uh, Mr. Shirasagi, I don't believe that I can take over right now. But by the time I graduate college, I will be a man worthy of Shirasagi-san. Will you please give me approval? It is clear that both the young lady and Kironagi-san are serious about this. I, for my part, ask you to do the same. Uh, I understand. If you all insist that much, I'll approve. R really Yes, I don't have the right to make a decision since my father approved it anyway. Uh, Kironagi-kun! Yeah, I'm glad. However, I'll make sure you keep your promise to become a man worthy of Haruka by the time you get to college. After Haruka's broken bones are completely healed, I'll have you study business management and economics with Himeragi by your side. Yes, uh, I understand. In the end, he gave me an additional condition, but I was allowed to go out with Shirasagi-san. We began studying before Haruka had completely healed, but since there was never enough time to become a man worthy of the daughter of a major conglomerate, I was grateful. With Himeragi-san saying it's not good to overdo it, she gives me plenty of time to flirt with Haruka, so I'll continue to do my best to be a man worthy of her, without giving up. Toru, how does today's food taste? It's tasty as always, Yuzuki. <laughs> Toru, you have some sauce on your mouth. And, well, <laughs> I've never had a girlfriend before, but I got a girlfriend through a colleague at work. The relationship went well, and we got engaged six months after we started dating. And then... <laughs> you cheated on me! How disgusting! The engagement is off! What? Wait! Yuzuki! And just like that, she dumped me three months after getting engaged. Let me say this clearly, but I never cheated on her! How did this happen in the first place? Let's go back a week ago. That day, Yuzuki brought her sister, who was a college senior, to our house. Toru, this is my sister Kana! I'm Toru Mamiya, and I'm dating your sister. Nice to meet you. Um... Uh... Is something wrong? I'm sorry, Toru. Kana is shy. Maybe she's nervous because you're so handsome. Uh, <laughs> really? Anyway, why don't you come inside? So, Toru works for a big company, Shinkai Shoji. The company itself might be big, but I'm not that big of a deal. Not at all. You're handsome on top of that. But you've never had a girlfriend for 25 years. <laughs> I can't believe it. Come on, what are you talking about in front of Kana-chan? I'm just an average office worker. I'd never been in a relationship with anyone until I met her, Yuzuki Uchiyama. A colleague introduced us, and we started dating. Yuzuki is a beautiful woman, as you can see, and she has good style, probably because she works in the beauty industry. And she's a wonderful person who gets the housework done perfectly. So the only thing I can be proud of is the fact that I get to date you. Toru, stop it already. You're embarrassing me. We were in love. Uh, amazing. That's nice. Kana, what kind of reaction is that? How am I supposed to react? Oh no, we got carried away in front of a college student. According to Yuzuki, Kana-chan was very shy and introverted. I'm the adult here. I should lead the conversation. Kana-chan, you're in your fourth year of college, right? What are you majoring in? I'm a liberal arts sociology major. 
Uh, I see. What are your hobbies? <sighs> Drawing. I like to draw. Drawing? Like oil paintings? No. Uh, illustrations and comic books. <laughs> that kind of thing. Oh, I see. Doru doodles too. So maybe you two can get along. Perhaps. What kind of illustrations do you draw? Um, I guess you could call it fan art. I make fanzines. And just then, Yuzuki's phone rang. Sorry, you two. It seems we're in some kind of trouble at work. What? But it's your day off, isn't it? Yeah, but apparently, I'm the only one who can figure it out. So I'm going to go to the office for a bit. Oh, okay. I'm so sorry. I should be back in a couple of hours. Okay, bye! See you later. Yuzuki left the house in a hurry, and it was just me and Kana-chan. Awkward. We just met each other for the first time today. An ordinary office worker and a college student were alone together. I didn't know what to talk about in a situation like this. Kana-chan seemed anxious now that she was alone with me. Oh, that's right! Kana-chan, you draw illustrations and manga, right? Huh? Uh, yes. What kind of things do you draw? Girls manga? Uh, um, it's kind of hard to say, but it, it's this. What? I was truly surprised when I saw the illustration posted on her social media. Well, I guess there are young female artists who draw this kind of stuff. What do I mean by this stuff? That would... <laughs> that would be a silly question to ask. Uh, uh, I see. That means you must have a lot of experience with that kind of stuff. No, no. I'm not experienced. I... I've never... Oh, no, no. Is that so? So, um... I don't know if this is the correct form. No, it's absolutely correct. Uh... I'll let you take a look at mine, too, then. Uh, you're going to show it to me? Uh, yeah. I don't know if it will do any good, but... No, please show me! Oh, she's aggressive. So I took her into the back room, and... What? It's this big? Uh, it's normal size. No, I've never seen anyone with one this big. What? A nice tablet? Oh, I want one too! She's like a little girl who dreams of getting a trumpet. I showed her all the tools I used to draw illustrations and manga. Kana-chan's eyes lit up with a sparkle. <laughs> if I have this, I'll be able to draw even cuter man-girls. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I guess it's not just guys. Something lit her up. Well, I don't have a problem with people's hobbies, but... I felt a little bit uncomfortable. Wait, you use analog tools too? Yeah, I recently switched to digital. Huh. Uh, wait, I feel like I've seen this drawing somewhere. Uh, well, there are plenty of similar ones out there. Has this girl's hairstyle not been decided yet? Yeah, girls' hairstyles are so difficult. I want to make her the main character of a new manga I'm working on, but... I'm not sure what to do. Huh? A main character? Oh, perhaps this is the manuscript? Ah, wait a second! I stopped her in desperation so she wouldn't see the manuscript. At that moment, Kana-chan got scared. Oh, the ink! Uh, sorry. It, it got on you. We have to wipe it off now. I... I can wipe it off by myself. And just like that, I got black ink all over her precious clothes. I'm sorry, I'll lend you my clothes, so go take a shower. Oh, uh, okay. I'm sorry too. And so, I lent Kana some clothes and told her to go take a shower. I was worried she would dislike me for screwing up so badly. 20 minutes later... Thank you for the bath. Oh yeah, don't worry about it. I'm sorry about earlier. N no it's my fault for trying to touch your precious manuscript. More importantly, I respect you, Toru-san! Huh? Why all of a sudden... You draw so well! I really envy you! You're like a pro! <laughs> You're making me blush! 
please show me more. No, please teach me how to use the brush. No, you're already good at using it, Kana-chan. I'm still an amateur. My relationship with Kana-chan turned out to go better than I expected. I'm home. Huh? Did you two get along? Welcome back, Yuzuki. Sis, Toru-san is so amazing. I'm glad to hear that. I'm relieved that you two got along. After that, the three of us got along well and had a chat around the dining table. Getting to know Kana-chan, she's a really sweet girl. But she's a little bit clumsy, which was also cute. I was happy that I would have a wonderful sister-in-law if I married Yuzuki. But then, one week later... I'm home! Wait, what? Yuzuki? You're here? What are you doing here without the lights on? Toru. What's wrong? Something bothering you? If it's about the ceremony... You cheated! You're disgusting! What? I cheated? Why? There's no use pretending like nothing happened. I have proof. What proof? Who did I have an affair with in the first place? It's Kana, isn't it? What? Why Kana-chan? I told you I have a lot of evidence. If you insist that much, show it to me. First of all, here. Hmm? That's what Kana-chan was wearing when she came here. That's right. It's obvious from this. I got the general gist. I let her borrow the shower, but that's it. This black liquid. It's what you get when you're excited, right? What? Am I a squid? I don't produce black liquid. It's ink. I mean, Yuzuki, have you ever seen me produce black liquid? <sighs> Even when you have me. I'm just kidding. This is the real one. A voice recorder? Why do you have that? I use it for work. I just happened to leave it in the house that day, and miraculously, I was able to capture the evidence of your affair. Uh, I see. Th that means you must have a lot of experience with that kind of stuff. No, I'm not experienced. I... I've never... That's me and... and Kana-chan. Our voices... No way. I'll let you take a look at mine, too, then. What? You're going to show it to me? Wait a second. This audio... It sounds off. What? It's this big? Um... It's a normal size. No! I've never seen anyone with one this big! Ah, sorry it got on you! We have to wipe it off now! I can wipe it myself! Please show me more! No! Please teach me how to use the brush! No! You're already good at using it, Kana-chan! I'm still an amateur! <sighs> See? You did it, didn't you? I ain't done it! This was about illustrations and cartoons! Yeah, yeah. I wonder what people will think when they hear this audio, hmm? It's been edited a little bit, too! This clipped audio doesn't count! Anyways, how disgusting. I'm canceling the engagement. Hey, wait! Yuzuki! Go talk to a lawyer about the rest of this. A lawyer? Do you have to go that far? T talking about the use of a brush. Don't you mean a small brush? Shut up! I mean, Yuzuki! You set me up, didn't you? So the affair was made up. After that, Yuzuki wouldn't answer the phone at all, and her agent contacted me instead, demanding alimony and a breakup of the engagement. The agent who made the call based on such stupid evidence is also something. But Yuzuki wanted to cut me off by any means necessary. I was so angry, I decided to pay the alimony as a way to cut her off. My company found out about all of this. At the settlement stage, we had agreed not to leak this matter, but the information spread. Yuzuki was unapologetic, and I heard she was calling me Squid Ink Guy behind my back. I ended up cutting ties with the company as well. <sighs> How did this happen? Thinking about it now, Yuzuki was the one who set this up. I assumed she was after the alimony in the first place, but I didn't want to believe that Kana-chan was in on it. I wanted to believe that all artists were good people. My mom told me to watch out for beautiful women in the city. Maybe I'll go back to my parents' house now that I quit my job. I don't think I'll be able to recover for a while. As I was thinking about that in my room, the doorbell rang. Kana-chan? Toru-san! I'm sorry! I'm really, really sorry! When I answered the door, Kana-chan suddenly came in tears, apologizing. I was surprised, 
but something must have happened, so I let her in. Sorry it's a little messy. No, please don't worry. There's something I need to tell you, Toru-san. Something you want to tell me? What? I don't know if you'll believe me now, but please listen. The day before yesterday, my sister came back to my parents' house. I'm home, Kana. Huh? Sis? What's wrong? I moved out of the apartment, so I thought I'd stay here for a while. I see. You came back to prepare for the marriage with Toto-san, right? <laughs> Don't talk about that guy. What? Why? I realized immediately that something must have happened between you and my sister. And that night, I happened to overhear her talking with my parents. That's right. Toru had an affair with another woman. What? Toto-san cheated? I didn't want to believe it because Toto-san is a kind-hearted person. Then the next day, I heard my sister talking to someone on the phone. Segusa-san, it's almost been two months since we started dating. For our two-month anniversary, I want to go to Guam or Saipan. I got extra income, so let's go have some fun. The person on the other end of the phone was an editor at a publishing company. But when I thought about it, the timing was off for the breakup, so I immediately realized that my sister was the one who cheated. I wanted to see you in person to confirm it, so I visited you at your office today on my way home from college. Squid Ink guy? I mean, Mamiya-san quit the company already. What? He quit? He had his hands on his fiancé's sister. There's no way Toru-san would do such a thing. Huh? How do you know about that? Because I'm his fiancé's sister! And just like that, I was made to be the unfaithful partner without knowing it. That's terrible. Not only me, but also to her own sister. Do you believe my story? There are no bad people among artists. I believe you, Kana-chan. But you've already paid the alimony, right? Doesn't that mean you admit to cheating on her? Yeah. So I'll get revenge my own way. Wh what are you planning to do? I have a favor to ask of you, Kana-chan. Will you listen to the plan I'm about to tell you and cooperate for me? I'll do anything for you, Toto-san. And so, Kana and I colluded and began preparing for revenge. A year later, I was at an anniversary party for one of the publishers. Wow, that was great! No, no, it was possible because of your cooperation. I'd love to see you keep up the good work. Huh? Toto? Why are you here? Yuzuki. Oh, I see. You quit your job and went somewhere else? Why are you here? I was just invited by my fiancé. The famous manga artist he works for wanted to meet me. Yuzuki-san, thank you for coming. Sagusa-san, Yuzuki missed you so much. <laughs> the dress looks great on you. Thank you. I matched it with your cool suit. By the way, Yuzuki-san, you were acquainted with Miyama-san? Yes. Miyama-san? Who is that? Ruto Miyama, the cartoonist here. R Ruto Miyama? The writer of the upcoming anime adaptation, Ruto Miyama? Yes, I'm the editor in charge of Miyama-san. No way! Toru was... Ruto Miyama? I didn't know that! Because you never asked me. Besides, you made fun of my illustrations and mangas as doodles, didn't you? What? Yuzuki-san, you called Miyama-san's drawings doodles? Uh, um, <laughs> well... Nowadays, translated versions of his comics are very popular, not only in Japan, but in the rest of Asia and in Europe as well. I... I had no idea who he was. To be honest, how much is Ruto-san's salary? With the flow of goods from the animated series, it will be in the hundreds of millions. <laughs> Hundred millions? I can't believe that you were making fun of his drawings. Th that's right. Toru, you still have feelings for me, don't you? No, I don't. You even gave me the nickname Squid Ink Guy. I'll break up with Sagusa-san. Go out with me, please. She's crazy. I didn't think she was like this. Kana, don't be quiet and help your sister. Why? You made me out to be Toru-san's lover. How do you know that? 
I'm cutting you off. Your father and mother know about it, too. N no! All right, Kana. It's almost time for our speech. So let's get going. You're right. Let's go, Taru-san. Why is Kana going with Toru? Why? Because Kana's my assistant. <laughs> That's what it is. Bye. Um, Yuzuki-san? <sighs> what? You're interrupting Miyama-san. So please leave. <laughs> Each and every one of you. Fine. I'm going to get a man with a higher property value than Toru or Sagusa-san. Oh, oh. Yuzuki tried to leave and fell from too much momentum. At that moment, she was covered with squid ink pasta from the table nearby. I didn't think well of it, but it was fitting. Saigusa-san didn't help her either, and later broke off the engagement. I've been able to do my best thanks to my assistant, Kana, who's right here with me. She'll be making her debut soon, so please support her as well. And so, our revenge drama was over. Yuzuki no longer appeared in front of us. And I don't know what she's doing now. As for my relationship with Kana... Miyama-san, how is this manuscript? It's fine as usual when it's just the two of us. No, but you're my mentor, whom I respect very much. We live together as cartoonists and support each other. We aren't lovers, but business partners. Kana's a good artist, and we model our drawings for each other. The relationship was moving forward little by little as we stimulated each other. However, there was a little trouble with Kana. The fanzine I'm going to publish has tentacles that squirm around. <laughs> Can you model it for me? I don't have any tentacles. I'm not a squid. A few years later, we were going to get married. Until then, our days were spent like a romantic comedy. There's a girl in the same class that I'm a little uncomfortable with. Mia kun There's still trash in the corner of the classroom. Oh, sorry, Kosaka-san. Uh, I can't help it. Here, give it to me. See? Look. And she always ends up finishing the job for me. Her name is Makoto Kosaka. She's beautiful and popular with everyone. She's a little germaphobic. And I always get warnings from her since I'm somewhat sloppy. Kosaka, are you looking after Hiro? I... Uh, it's not like I want to take care of him. The one who started talking to her was Shun Kazahaya. He's tall, has a face like a model, and comes from a rich family, so he's popular among the girls. It just bothers me when there's trash in the corner of the classroom. You heard that, Hiro? Don't make Kosaka do all the work, and let's do it together, okay? Oh, yeah. Sorry, Kazahaya-kun. Kosaka-san. Thank goodness Shun-kun got in between us. Hey, Kosaka-san, did you change your hair recently? Huh? Oh, <laughs> you noticed. Does it suit me? Yeah, it looks great on you. How can I put it? There's no room for a dull guy like me. The only thing I can do is stay out of their way. I'm going to take out the trash then? Thanks, Hiro! It might be important to learn about the hierarchy of people at school, which is said to be a microcosm of society. A dull guy like me should leave while the real extroverts are having fun. Cleaning is the foundation of any job, right? No matter what job you get in the future. Wait, why is Kosaka-san following me? After I left the classroom, Kosaka-san immediately followed me. Maybe she didn't scold me enough? Miyama-kun, what kind of job do you want to have in the future? I'm not sure yet. What about you? I want to be a nurse. I want to help people in the future. Huh, I see. For a moment, the image of Kosaka-san as a nurse came to mind. She's cheerful and caring. I think it suits her very well. I need to find a solid goal like that as soon as possible. Just thinking about the future makes me feel somewhat gloomy. That night, I spend most of the weekends alone because my parents are busy working. My parents weren't home that day, so I spent the day playing video games. I'm getting hungry. Might as well go to the convenience store for a late night snack. Then I got some snacks at a convenience store and was about to go home. Then I saw Kosaka-san coming from the other side of the railroad crossing on her bicycle. I heard she goes to a cram school before, so she was probably on her way home from that. I tried to avoid seeing her face, but just as she was about to cross... Ah, my phone! Her phone fell out of her pocket as she stumbled over a small gap, and when Kosaka-san got off her bicycle to pick up her phone... What? Wait! My bicycle is stuck! The front wheel got stuck in the ditch of the tracks! Then, with ill timing, the signal started flashing red and rang as the bar gradually descended. What? Wait! Kosaka-san was in a complete panic! I also panicked for a moment, wondering what to do. But my body started moving before I could think. Kosaka-san! Sorry! What? Oh, Miyama-kun! Why? 
Just pick up your phone and let's get to the other side! I carried her up while pulling the bike with me and ran to the other side. Phew. Just in time. Uh, Kosaka-san, are you okay? Uh, uh, yeah. I kind of froze. Sorry. I was in such a hurry that I forgot about the emergency button. No, just come here for a second. What? At that moment, I was surprised and confused all at once. Kosaka-san hugged onto me without saying a word. She was shaking as she cried. She must have been terrified. But then, at that moment, there was a crack. Ah! Uh, sorry! I, I stepped on your phone! Huh? Oh, uh... Uh, I'm really sorry! I didn't do it on purpose! I'd like to pay for it right now, but I only have a thousand yen in my wallet! I'm so pathetically short of money. Anyway... I apologized desperately to Kosaka-san, and promised to pay for the phone, but when Kosaka-san looked up... <laughs> what is it, Kosaka-san? Kosaka-san suddenly burst out laughing. I feared she might have broken down from the shock earlier, but... <laughs> you saved my life! And now you're getting flustered over something as trivial as a phone! Oh, uh... Isn't that important, though? No, nothing is more important than life. I don't need to pay for it. And more importantly, thank you so much. Thanks for walking me. I'll repay you for all this another time. Oh, yeah. Good night, Kosaka-san. And that's how I saved Kosaka-san's life. People would either be surprised or not believe me if I told them about this. Kosaka-san hugged me. I guess it was because she was scared. But Kosaka-san is so cute when she's honest. I could still feel Kosaka-san trembling a little. Even though she usually seems bossy, she might be timid after all. I'm home! Hiro, welcome home. We just got home too. You're back late, aren't you? Yeah. I helped a girl in my class on the way home from the convenience store. And I just dropped her off. It's dangerous at night these days. Wait, what? When I went to school at the beginning of the week, Kosaka-san attended school as usual. <laughs> and then... Oh! Huh? Is Kosaka-san looking at me? Uh, sorry, I'll be right back. <laughs> Miyamakun, follow me! What? Hey, Kosaka-san? I was pulled away by Kosaka-san and taken straight to the hallway, and she took out a new phone from her pocket. Ta-da! I changed phones yesterday! Oh, I see. Wait, your hand! Uh, never mind. So, you know, I want to exchange lime with you if you'd like. Huh? With me? Is that a no? Sure. I've never had a female contact in lime other than my mom and my aunt. Also... My mom and dad would love to meet you and thank you for the other day. What? That's a bit... Please, they want to go to your house next time. You're going to be late if you oh, don't get into class. What are you two doing here? Kazuhayakun. You're going to be late if you don't get to class. Oh, that's right. Let's go, Miyamakun. Uh, yeah. After that, Kosaka-san's attitude gradually changed. Her expression softened and she started smiling more. I realized that her smile was something special that was directed only at me. Of course, it could all be a misunderstanding, but I was starting to get interested in Kosaka-san. I didn't really like her before, but it makes me blush seeing her honest side. Even if I wanted to hide my feelings, they would show on my face or in my attitude, which was troubling. One day after school, Kazahaya-san called me. He wanted to talk to me about Kosaka-san. To be honest, I like Kosaka. Really? So Kazahaya-kun, that's how you felt. I'm thinking of confessing my feelings to Kosaka. Hiro, I'm sorry, but can you help me out with that? What? Me? That's impossible! It's fine. I just need you to leave us alone. Leave you two alone? Haven't you noticed? Kosaka's been hanging out with you all the time, hasn't she? Huh? R really? You two go home together after school sometimes too, right? Well, that's just because we happen to go in the same direction. Come on, Hiro. I've helped you when you were in trouble. Well, that's... Kazahaya-kun was the only one who didn't treat me like a dull guy. When Kosaka-san gave me warnings, he would intervene and act as a mediator. Now that I think about it, it was probably because he had a liking for Kosaka-san. But my honest feelings... I'm sorry, Kazahaya-kun. I can't help you. What? Why? Because if I cooperate, I'd be lying to myself. To be honest, I like Kosaka-san too. That's why I can't cooperate. I know I'm confessing my feelings to the wrong person, this was more like a statement of determination than a confession. Even if I'm a dull guy right now, I'll become a man worthy of Kosaka-san and confess my feelings to her. I see. You understand? Yeah, but I never would have guessed you liking Kosaka too, Hiro. 
So that means we're rivals. Kaza Hayakun. Well, I'm not gonna lose, okay? I really like Kosaka too. Kaza Hayakun left with a smile after saying that. I went home that day, wondering if it was really okay for me to be his rival. That evening, I was alone in my room, and a lime was sent to me. Huh? It's from Kosaka-san? It's been a while since we started liming each other at night, but this was the first time it came at this time of night. I immediately opened my phone. Oh my god! He confessed to me! Oh, I like him so much! What? Confessed? Could it be him? Kazahaya-kun popped up in my mind. Did he confess right after that? And Kosaka-san seemed to be on board! Then the message was immediately deleted. What? Incoming call from Kosaka-san? I had received a call from Kosaka-san out of the blue. It was right after I had already read the message, so I was a bit nervous. Calm down. Just answer the phone. Hello? D did you see it? Did you see that message just now? What? I wasn't supposed to see it? Kosaka-san was panicking over the phone. Sorry. It was supposed to be to a friend. Oh, I see. A misdirected message. Kosaka-san was very flustered because of the embarrassing nature of the message. Uh, I opened it, but I didn't read the message. <sighs> Thank goodness. Uh, what was the content of the message? What? Uh, well, it's just something between the girls, so it's nothing. Uh, I see. Sorry for asking. Did you want to keep the confession from me? Or did Kazahaya kun tell you not to tell me? Then things got a little awkward and I gradually began to distance myself from Kosaka-san. Oh, Miyama-kun! Wanna go home together today? Sorry, Kosaka-san. I... I have something to do today. It was my misunderstanding after all. The smile Kosaka-san gave me was nothing special. I saved her life, but how could she possibly like me for something like that? I'm not a hero or anything. I'm just a dull guy in the corner of the classroom who takes care of people. Ah, hero's avoiding you, isn't he, Kosaka? Y yeah did I do something to make him hate me? Is it because of the things you've said? You've said some pretty harsh things to him. I see, because I was harsh. I guess it would be annoying now. Hiro seems to be working harder than before on cleaning. Why don't you just leave him alone? So today, why don't we- Sorry, I'm going home too. Okay. A few days later, things have been awkward between me and Kosaka-san ever since. We don't exchange lime anymore, and we don't even talk in class. I wonder if Kosaka-san found a boyfriend since then. Just as I was wondering that, as I was taking out the trash, I heard people arguing behind the school building. I told you, I'm not going out with you, Kazahaya-kun! Why not? I like you! What? Kosaka-san and Kazahaya-kun? What's so great about him? He's just a dull loser! He's not! He's dependable and kind! But he's avoiding you, isn't he? Give up already! Up. I've liked him ever since we were in the same class, and he's actually cooler than everyone thinks! I heard all about Kosaka-san's feelings, then Kazahaya-kun. Oh my god, looks like I can't go out with you, and you're being a pain, so I'll call my friends! What? What do you mean, friends? What are you going to do? What do you mean? We're about to have a fun party together! Kosaka-san, that's enough! Miyama-kun? Huh? Wait, Hiro? What's wrong? What's wrong? Kazahaya-kun, what were you about to do to Kosaka-san? Just something fun. Wanna join? I think Kosaka would be happier that way, too. You're disgusting! Hiro, keep a hold of her for now. I'll call everyone who can come. Kazahaya-kun! I was recording the whole exchange. What are you planning to do with that? Depends on your answer. Promise me you'll never come near her again. <laughs> You're a pain for being such a dull loser. Fine, I promise. After that, Kazahaya-kun walked away looking uninterested. It's okay, Kosaka-san. Miyama-kun? Kosaka-san? This is the second time Kosaka-san has hugged me. I held her silent and trembling shoulders for a while, but... Oh, uh, oh no! What? What happened? I sent the video by accident! What? To who? My mom! I have to unsend it! <laughs> what? Kosaka-san? saved my life again! And now you're freaking out just because you sent a video to your mother by accident! Because uh, my mom is scary when she gets upset! More importantly, thanks for saving me again. Oh yeah, but I'm sorry, I didn't really understand what was going on, and I heard your conversation with Kazahaya-kun. I see, you heard. 
Also, I actually read that line message I said I didn't, as well. You read that too? That was all about you. What? You were talking about me? But I don't remember confessing to you! Well, about that... Uh, actually... After school the other day, to be honest, I like Kosaka-san too. That's why I can't help you. No way! Miyama-kun likes me too? I heard the whole exchange between you and Kazahaya-kun back then. I see. So that's why the message said he confessed. Y yeah I was so happy when you said that, and I got excited. Um, but wait. Does that mean we both confessed our feelings to Kazahaya-kun? Yeah Is that an indirect confession? Kazahaya-kun must have had quite the mixed feelings, but now that we know his true nature, maybe that was a good thing. By the way, about Kazahaya-kun... He tried to do something inappropriate to a girl. Uh, everyone, calm down! I heard that my mom and other parents went to the principal's office because of the video I sent her by accident. This issue developed into a big problem involving the PTA and the school board, and Kazahaya-kun got expelled as a result. I also heard that all the other bad things he had done were exposed, and he could no longer live in the area. And then peace came to the school. And Kosaka-san and I? Well, my relationship with Makoto? Hiro! Where do you want to go on our date next weekend? How about the aquarium? Yeah! I'm really looking forward to it! Makoto is really cute when she's honest. I hope I can find my future goal soon as I protect her from now on. I, Kaito Hagakure, am an office worker who just turned 24 years old. My hobby is cooking, which my mother taught me since I was a kid. Out of everything, I love cooking fish the most. And I have a side income. Alright, I think I'll go buy a new knife. Yeah. Oh. Hmm? Oh, hi. Her name is Mika Kujo, a rich office worker who lives next door. She's an unpleasant person with a very bad personality. <laughs> And she was a classmate of mine in high school. We didn't get along at all. Hagakure-kun, why don't you do something about your clothes? <laughs> I like dressing comfortably. Looks are everything, you know. Wearing cheap-looking clothes like that is just lowering your own status. She wears brand-name clothes even I can recognize. Thinking back, she's always been like this. I don't have much money to spend on things like that. I'm not interested in brands. Well, it wouldn't be fit for you to wear clothes like that anyway. I thought looks are everything. <sighs> I have to go. Even if you see me outside, don't talk to me. I don't want people to think I know you. I know. <laughs> she didn't like me at all. Well, she and I have always lived in different worlds, so I don't blame her. First, I had one question. Why does she live here if she's rich? I live in a rather cheap area. It's not inconvenient, but it's not the kind of place a rich person like her would live. So why does she live here? That's what I was wondering. Someone like her would be particular about where she lives. And two years went by since I had those questions in my mind. I was already good at cooking fish, but I'd gone even better. Alright, sea base car Tokyo is ready! This time I made a dish using sea bass, which is in season during the summer. I'm glad it turned out well. Hmm? Who could it be at this hour? I'm sure I didn't have any visitors scheduled. I turned off the camera and headed for the front door. And then... G good evening. Kujo-san! What on earth are you doing dressed like that? Her parents had changed drastically ever since I saw her a few months ago. I couldn't help but wonder if it was the same person. Uh, I'm sorry all of a sudden, but I want you to share some food with me. It smells so good. You're making something right now, aren't you? I uh, I just finished making it. I can't believe the prideful Kujo-san came to beg me for some food. And she's so pale. Maybe she hasn't been eating at all? Here, come on in. Thanks. I want to ask her what happened, but her health comes first. I only made enough for one, but I can cook and eat it later. What? A camera? Oh, don't worry about that. That's not enough rice for you, is it? I'll give you what I cook, Soita. C can I? Of course! Might as well enjoy it without holding back. Thank you so much. 
You're welcome. I'll prepare it so you can eat right away. I then led Kujo-san to the table and put the food on a plate. Here you go. Oh, looks delicious. I haven't tasted it, but I'm sure it's good. I I'll have some. Oh, delicious. It tastes like something you'd get at a fancy restaurant. <laughs> Thanks. Hakagurikun, were you a chef? Nope, it started off as a hobby, but I enjoyed it, so I kept at it and it got better. What a waste. If you can cook this good, why don't you become a chef? Well, it was just a hobby. I didn't want to be tied down by anything. They say you shouldn't turn a hobby into a job. If I was going to make it my job, I wanted to have the freedom to do what I want. I see. Hey, uh, can I have some more? Sure. What's there is all yours, Kujo-san. Really? Then, if you don't mind. Kujo-san kept stuffing her face with the food. Yeah, I've always just eaten by myself, but it's nice to have someone else eat it like this. Kujo-san eats it so deliciously. I had never served home-cooked food to anyone other than my mother, so watching her eat made me really happy. To be honest, I didn't like her that much until now, but seeing her like this changed my mind. I watched her as she ate happily. <sighs> Thank you for the food. For some reason, after she finished eating, Kujo-san seemed to be in low spirits. What's wrong? Did it stop tasting good halfway through? No, it was really tasty, but... But... I thought about it, but I think I ate your portion too. Oh, is that it? But... All I have to do is just make some more. If anything, I'm glad you enjoyed it so much. I... I see. Yeah, so how was it? Oh, it was... so delicious. Now oh, that's good. Uh, it's against the rules to be shy all of a sudden. Oh, the gap between this and when you're all high and mighty makes you look cute. Um, so I need to apologize. But I don't have anything to thank you with right now. Oh, I'm not looking for that, so don't worry about it. I'd rather you tell me what's going on. You've changed pretty drastically, haven't you? Uh, the company I worked for went out of business six months ago. Oh, I didn't know that. Your father's company. No, I didn't work at my father's company. What do you mean? My father's company went under when I was in college, so I quit college and went to work. But my mom and dad... They passed away without me. That was at least four years ago. That means two years ago, she already... Thanks to my father, all the debts are gone. But I was so afraid of what other people would think of me. I couldn't wear anything but brand name clothes. So I spent most of my salary on luxury clothes and bags and ate poorly. But six months ago, the company I was working for went bankrupt. And I haven't been able to find a new job despite having no savings. So you cut costs even more? Yeah. I have no more money to pay rent. I don't even have money for food. I see. I thought she was a girl who didn't know about hardship, but she has been through a lot. And the fact that she's clinging on to me shows she's already reached the limit. I'm sorry, Hakakurikun. I always had an empty stomach. And I envied you for the way your room smelled so good all the time, so I made an enemy out of you. Yeah, now that I know the reason, I understand how you feel, so don't worry about it. Thanks. <laughs> You're surprisingly kind. I was surrounded by people who betrayed me when my father's company went under, so my heart is warmed by your kindness. <laughs> I'm glad I got to enjoy such delicious food at the end. Goodbye. Wait! What? What are you going to do now? I don't know. I can't afford rent, so I'll have to move out. But I don't have any money, and I can't afford to rent a new place. You're not thinking of anything stupid, are you? Uh, but I can't live without a place. I don't even have a job. Despite that, we all try our best to survive. It's not something you can give up on. So what should I do then? I'll take care of it, since we're neighbors. You? If you don't have a job, 
help me out in the meantime. I'll pay you a salary. You were self-employed? Well, something like that. So what do you think? B but I put you through a lot of pain. That would be too convenient of me. You're in trouble, right? Don't worry about the little things. I wouldn't be able to sleep at night if I abandoned her here. I can't do anything besides office work, though. That's a first time for everyone. You just have to learn slowly. Will you get mad if I make mistakes? Have you ever seen me angry? No. Then there's nothing to worry about, right? Yeah. Good. What should I have you start with? I can't do the hard ones right off the bat. Don't worry, I know. Right, uh, let's go buy some clothes first. Uh, are you trying to get me to wear something you're into? What are you thinking? No, I'm just thinking about something I've been wanting to do for work. And I need clothes for that. Plus, I'm sure you'll need some new clothes anyway. Uh, I only wear brand name clothes, though. <laughs> yeah, are you kidding me? <laughs> First, you need to fix your obsession with brands. If you don't have the money you need to put up with it. No buts! There's plenty of nice clothes that aren't branded. That's not convincing coming from you. You're such a... <sighs> you have a good style and a nice face, so you'll look good in anything. Don't be so picky about brands. Hmm. Do you have any more objections? No. Huh? I didn't expect that. I thought she was still going to argue. I thought she wouldn't give up on brands given her personality, but what a surprise. Well, I'm glad she's willing to give it up. So I took her to a clothing store. Uh, what do you think? I knew she'd look good without the brand name clothes. I mean, she's just too cute. Yeah, I think it looks great on you. I, I see. Uh, uh... Awkward. Uh, let's just pay the bill and go on to the next place, hmm? Yeah. Oh, the money. I'll pay for everything today, don't worry. Okay, thanks. After this, I bought about three outfits for Kujo-san and headed to the next store. And the next day after making various preparations... Why are we on the sea? Kujo-san was distraught when I brought her out to sea after asking a captain I knew for a boat. She's not used to this kind of place. Well, it wasn't a surprise. I wanted to make a fishing video. Why? Why do you need to make it a video? Well, you'll figure that out later. You think you can film? Uh, I'll do my best. Although, Kujo's son was determined. <sighs> After a few minutes, she was done. She must have gotten seasick from trying to film as she wasn't used to being on a boat. I don't think we're going to be able to film anymore. So we decided to go home. I'm sorry, Kujo's son. I'm the one who's sorry. I couldn't help you. I'm the one who asked you to do something reckless, so don't worry about it. Shouldn't you sleep in bed? Well, I feel safer here than alone in my room right now. Uh, she seems to be unaware of it, but she says things out of the blue that makes people nervous. I can't leave a weakened Kujo-san alone. She's kind of like a child. Get some good rest for now. Did she fall asleep? I should just leave her alone. I've decided to finish the job while she was sleeping. A few hours later... Uh, uh, oh, are you awake? Uh, Haka uh, I see. You let me sleep here. I thought she was going to panic after waking up from not remembering why she was sleeping in the first place, but... She's surprisingly calm. How are you feeling? Yeah. I'm fine. I feel better after sleeping. I see. I'm glad. I heard seasickness is hard to get over, so I'm glad it went away in a few hours. You should go home and get some rest today. No! I haven't done my job properly yet, so I want to do it. Wow, she's surprisingly dedicated. Let's start video editing then. Video editing? Wait, the fishing wasn't filmed properly, was it? There's nothing we can do about that. I filmed a video of me cooking a fish earlier, so that's what we're going to edit. 
Oh, you make videos of that too? How come? Have you ever heard of a uh, content creator? Oh, I know. I've seen some on TV once in a while. I see. So you're aiming to be a content creator. That's great. I hope you get paid for it someday. I'm not aiming for it. I already am. Oh, well. I'm going to ask you to do some editing from now on. The more people I have who can edit, the easier it is to post videos. I wonder if I can do it. Don't worry, it's easy once you get the hang of it. Then I taught Kujo-san how to edit videos. Kujo-san learned quickly and was able to make simple videos in no time. She may be smart, but more importantly, she was a good listener. I think she's a good girl at heart. I'll do the final check, how about that? Editing takes more time than filming, so I'll work on it too. But do you think you can handle it? Yeah, I'll be fine. This is something I can do. I'm looking forward to it then. Yeah, thanks. And so Kujo Samba became my business partner. A few days later, she was wondering why I didn't go out to work, so I told her about my channel and she was very surprised. Two years ago, I was just posting videos on the side. But in the last two years, the channel grew and now has 2 million subscribers. So I quit my original job and became a full-time content creator. When Kujo san learned this fact, she laughed, saying, You have way too many tricks up your sleeves. And one year later... <laughs> I didn't think I'd ever be able to wear a wedding dress. We got to know each other through working together, and six months later we started dating. And six months after that we had our wedding. I'm looking forward to our life together, Kaito-kun. Mika-chan, who changed into the person she is now, was so cute to me that I was determined to work even harder to keep the smile on her face. <laughs> I love my big brother! In the future, I'm gonna be my bro's wife! <laughs> my younger sister, Shiori, showed me her innocent smile like this. She has a bit of a brother complex, but I always thought she was cute. But then, that evening... Don't talk to me anymore. Also, stop staring at me. Unlike this morning, she suddenly turned cold toward me. Her sudden change shocked me quite a bit. So it's been like that, and recently, Shiori won't really talk to me. I'm wondering what happened during the night that changed her like that. It's not like we had a fight, so I did I do something that would make her dislike me? I was talking with my childhood friend and fellow classmate, Yura Naruse, about me, Kenta Okami. Yura was quite a flashy type of girl. Uh, but a brother and a sister is usually like that, don't you think? Really? But her sudden change is, I don't know, pretty shocking. Eh, maybe it's her temporarily rebellious period. Rebellious period isn't a disease. I mean, what do you mean by a, a, a temporary rebellious period? Things were abnormal until now. Going on a date with your sister every weekend is unbelievable. It wasn't a date! We went to an amusement park, had a meal, and enjoyed the night scenery together. That's all. Uh, that is totally a classic date. And sleeping with your sister on the same bed is just not done, you know? When I wake up in the morning, Shiori's sleeping next to me. Uh, that means she totally likes you. Yura was appalled by all this, but we were good friends, and I was a good brother, and she was a good sister to me. Until now. But now that we had a bit of distance between us, perhaps we had been a little too close. But why are you talking to me about Shiori? Well, you're a friend of mine, right, since we both were little, and I can only talk with you about this sort of thing. Is that all? Anything else? Anything else? Well, you've also changed a lot, right? I thought you might be familiar with the psychological changes. Uh, how rude! I haven't changed! So she says, but unlike middle school, Yura was like this. She was not flashy, wore glasses, and was the quiet type. But when she entered high school... She became like this. She became flashy, wore colored contact lenses, and became outgoing. She had none of those traits when she was little. Kaita, are you maybe thinking, what if Shiori was not my sister? No, I'm not thinking that. I, uh, how could I think such a thing? Mm, are you really sure? Y yes, I'm sure. Then, why don't we go out? What? So what are the blue? If you date me, your sister complex will be cured. I don't have a sister complex, and I don't really prefer the flashy type. I'm not really the type to date the school's number one flashy girl.
At school, I did ask Yura about Shiori's sudden change of behavior, but I couldn't figure anything out. That day on the way home, I bumped into Shiori at the school gate. Oh, Shiori, let's go home together. Oh. Is there any place you want to stop by on the way home? The, the cafe in the front of the train station? Bro, I told you not to talk to me. But we used to go back home together. Uh, used to? Yes, not anymore. Why? Did I do something to you? No, you didn't do anything. It's not anything, actually. Yeah. Okay, but I was a bit worried, so... But why are you being nice to me even though I'm so cold towards you? Well, we are brother and sister, and I want us to get along. <laughs> I don't want us to get along! Shuri! Shuri took off as if to run away from me. The reason was nothing. But I feel like there's more to it than that. The next day, it was a Saturday evening. Our parents told us that we have to talk about something important. So Shiori and I went to talk with our parents after dinner. There's something that we have to talk to the both of you about. What is it, Dad? Why are you being so formal about this? <gasps> are you maybe getting divorced? No. As you know, your mother and I are very much in love with each other. No, that's true. It's almost kind of embarrassing. What? Are you criticizing me? Oh, are you pregnant? Uh, yes, we love each other, but I'm not pregnant. Oh, I see. I guess you guys aren't exactly young anymore. What? Are you telling me I look old? So, you guys aren't getting divorced and mom isn't pregnant? Then what is it? Keita, it's not that. For you, this might be shocking. Dad's face turned serious, as if that was him trying to tell us what he wanted to say. Actually, you aren't our true child. It took a few seconds to realize what those words meant, but there was a bigger surprise waiting for me. Chiori is our real child, uh, but she isn't your sister. She's your fiancé. What? Who I thought were my real parents were actually not, and Shiori is my fiancé. I have no idea what that means. After that, Dad told us that my real dad was not here. He went out to the sea to fish and hasn't come back ever since. And as for my real mom, well, she disappeared soon as she gave birth to me. I was raised by my parents who were actually friends of my real dad. With your real father, we were like childhood friends and did everything together. There was a promise we made that if anything happened, I would look after you. That Before that, I also promised that I would let you marry my daughter. That's unbelievable. I, I, I'm glad that you raised me, but... I'm sorry. Your father had gone out to sea and hasn't come back for 14 years. Probably won't come back anymore. But he took care of me and my mother. So, we also want to keep our promise to your real father. Could you please marry Shiori? This is all too sudden... It's not so sudden. You're already 17 years old. Shorty will become 18 in three years. She'll be a legal adult. I wanted to tell you so that you have time to think about it now. But uh, how about Shiori's feelings, huh? Shiori doesn't like me. Of course, Shiori's reaction is... I will marry my brother. See? Shiori said she doesn't want to... What? <laughs> what should I do? I'm not sure if I should be happy, but I am. Why? Shiori, I, I, th I thought you didn't like me. I'm sorry about that, bro. I don't dislike you. Actually, I really like you. Then why were you so cold to me? When I started high school, I was talking with a classmate of mine. Don't you think a sister or a brother's complex is pretty bad? <laughs> I know what you mean. I'm always fighting with my younger brother. I have an older brother, but it can't be like, I love my brother, you know? Yeah, totally. Hey, Shuri, don't you think so? <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. I love my brother, but is this abnormal? Is my brother maybe troubled by this? I need to check with him. Oh, there he is. Uh, bro! Kaita, when are we finally going to start dating each other? Well, flashy girls aren't really my thing. That flashy girl finds my bro attractive? M maybe bro doesn't need me. I'm not needed. I was quite shocked, but I thought about it a lot and decided I needed to stop clinging to you. I see. But you know her. She's Yura Naruse. What? The one who's been going to the same school as you since elementary school? Yeah, for some reason, when she entered high school, she changed into this flashy type. 
If you like the flashy type, I can become that. Wait, wait, wait a minute. I never said that I like flashy girls like that. But, but she seemed to want to go out with you. And I turned her down every single time. Well, what is it? Shortage seems to have no disagreements. Of course. If I'm going to marry someone, it will be my brother. Oh, I see. Keita, that's good for you. Then, Keita, it's up to you now. After that, our family meeting finished. I went back to my room and gave all this a, a, a lot of thought. It's up to me now? I felt overwhelmed by all those things that came rushing at me all at once. I couldn't organize my thoughts. I thought about Shiori. Shiori agreed to our marriage, but as for me, Shiori is still my precious younger sister. We've grown up together as brother and sister. As I was having such thoughts, I heard a knock on my door. Bro, do you have a moment? Oh, yeah, come in. It's fine. A anything wrong? I wanted to talk to you alone. Bro, do you not want to marry me? No, it's not like that, but I'm just a little confused. You're my precious younger sister, but I wonder why our parents raised us as siblings up until now. So now to be told to see you as my fiancé, it's, it's, it's kind of difficult. Dad was saying after you went upstairs. He was planning to wait to tell you this until you were older and more mature. I think he planned to wait until you became an adult, but it seems that he had been worried about our relationship as brother and sister recently. Oh, I see. Dad was feeling kind of rushed. I'm really sorry, bro. I'm not really a cute sister for you. No, Shiori, you're adorable. You, you wanted to put some distance between us for my sake, right? That is not only painful for me, but also for you. Uh, uh, bro? Oh, I think I love you too much, bro, really? Oh, okay, I got it. So, will you let me go? No way. I will never let you go. We can sleep on the same bed tonight, okay? After that, I had a hard time convincing her that I needed to be alone to think about things. But she finally went back to her own room. I wonder if Shiori is really convinced about getting married to me. If we are about to get married, I can't be the same as I am now. College? Job? I don't know where to start. Hmm? It's a call from Yuta. Kaita, sorry to be calling you late at night. It's okay. But is everything alright with you? Oh, it's nothing really. I just wanted to hear your voice before I went off to sleep. Oh! Oh, okay. Kaita, I'm actually quite serious. I really want to go out with you. Quite serious. What do you like about me? We've known each other for a long time. You're nice. I guess your personality. I don't think I've been particularly nice to you. That's not true. You looked out for me when we were in middle school. <laughs> when we were in middle school, I was kind of plain looking, right? I wore glasses and people would make fun of me by calling me a plain girl. When I was the one left out of the group of girls, you were the only one who was friendly to me. Just as always, I was so happy. Well, to tell the truth, I liked you ever since we were in elementary school. But you were always worried about Shiori, right? So I thought I really can't come between you and Shiori's bond. I see. But as for Shiori, turns out that we weren't siblings. What? What did you say just now? We aren't siblings. On top of that, she apparently is supposed to be my fiancé. I told Yoda what happened today. One by one. Then? What? What on earth? Then are you going to get married to Shiori in the future? Th that hasn't been decided yet. Shiori really wants to, though. Oh, I can't stand it. Kaita, I'm hanging up the phone. Good night. Good night? That's what happened on Saturday. And today is Monday morning. Okay, we'll be going now. See you! See you both! Be careful of the cars, alright? On Sunday, I spent the whole day with Shiori. We went to the aquarium, had a meal, saw night scenery. I guess, just as Yoda had commented, it was a date. But it still feels strange. Shiori, aren't you a bit clingy? It's only the morning. This is my right as your sister and your fiancé. Also, when we get to school, we have to be apart. I need to get as much of you, bro, as I can now. As a fiancé, this bro is kind of weird. Oh, really? Then... K. Oh? How is that? I've wanted to call you K for a long time. I guess it's better than being called bro, but... Why is my heart beating so wildly? Like that, we arrived at school and entered the classroom. Hmm, things are a bit noisy here. 
By the classroom window, there was a long, dark-haired girl who looked pure and beautiful, standing with a somber expression on her face. She wasn't someone from our class. I'd never seen her before, but she looked beautiful. Oh, you're finally here, Kaita. Morning. That voice. Is that you, Yura? Yura had dyed her hair from blonde to black. She was not wearing any flashy makeup or colored contacts. <laughs> How is it? I decided to change my self-image. Your way of speaking hasn't changed, though. Eh, I'm too used to speaking like this. In time, I guess it'll go back to how it used to be. Why did you decide to change yourself so suddenly? I told you that I'm pretty serious, right? I thought that you might prefer if I look like this. <laughs> it suits you. But what was all that flashy makeup about up until now? Oh, that was before we started high school. Let's change our appearances when we start high school. Boys like girls who are flashy, right? What? Is that really so? Maybe Kaita also likes flashy girls. But if I'm too flashy, he might not like it. Well, I guess I can give it a try. Morning, Kaita. Oh, morning. Uh, who are you? It's me, Yura. I changed my outlook. Ooh, yikes. He's looking shocked about this. Well, uh, your skin is kind of revealing. Uh-huh. Aren't you getting a bit red in the face? Can you not get too close to me? You don't even look me in the eyes. What is this? Oh, are you maybe feeling embarrassed? Embarrassed? Yeah, that I wouldn't be the normal reaction. <laughs> don't get so embarrassed. Oh, jeez, don't get so close now. Yes, Kaita is feeling excited over me. So, it was like that. I found it kind of entertaining. That was the reason. That is so biased. I'm not into flashy girls. But your heart did beat a little faster, didn't it? Ugh. I changed myself back to how I used to be. How do you find me now? Well, how do I find you? Well, her way of speaking hadn't changed, but she looked so much more beautiful than she used to be, at least to me. I thought that she was already beautiful, but I'm surprised by how much a girl can change. I think it's good. What do you mean by good? I mean, I think it looks better than the flashy version of you. I see. And maybe I made the right decision in changing my appearance. So, you will finally go out with me, right? Uh, well, uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> Why? Is it because you're going to marry Shiori in the future? I'm still thinking about that. Hey, the first period class is P.E., but could you let me borrow your P.E. clothes? Sh Shiori? Hmm? Oh, it's Shiori. What are you doing, Kay? What are you doing?! Mmm, skinship. So you are Yura. Oh, so you remember me. What are you doing to my K? You're being way too close to him! It's fine, don't you think? Kaita isn't married, and he seems to be undecided regarding his possible marriage with you. No! This is not good! This is cheating! Cheating! What's going on here? Is this a fight? Kaita's fiance came shouting in the classroom. Yuda decided to change her appearance for Kay. Hmm, how envious. This is not a good situation. Kay, who are you going to choose? Me or Yuda? Of course it's me, right? Ah, uh, well... This was when our teacher came into the classroom, so the situation calmed itself down. After that, all my classmates started interrogating me as to what was going on. But after that... A promise with Kay before you did, right, Kaita? Hey, you two, please calm down. <laughs> the fight over me continued to escalate. <laughs>